Chicago's Michael Jordan. Indiana's Reggie Miller. Surprisingly, these longtime rivals have never met in the playoffs until today. Other than the incomparable Jordan himself, perhaps no player has had more big postseason moments in this decade than Miller. But while Jordan's performances have taken him and his team to five NBA titles, Miller is a star who has never set foot on his sport's biggest stage. Now, for the third time in five years, Reggie Miller and the Pacers are one step from the NBA Finals. But the biggest star of all is guarding the stage door. Game one, next. Mullen as advertised. This time down the floor, Harper has Jackson. Runs him around a Smith screen. Then Rick gets it back and cans the 20-footer. Now, that's what... With Pippen's quickness, but that time, Scotty couldn't finish it. Dale Davis staying with it. Early offense, very critical to the Indiana Pacers. If they... Inside. Chicago's first basket comes after two minutes and 15 seconds. Dale Davis in the front court. Fade away in the lane, the kind of shot he doesn't often take. This time it's there for him. That's a luxury for Larry Bird. Any points that it. Jackson on the move. The floater. The follow by Davis. Actually, actually it was, was an alley-oop pass. pass. Was Absolutely. That, pass? that was that little floating alley-oop pass. Mark Smith is begging for the ball in the post against Winnington. Jackson all the way. And now Davis once again. Dale Davis has eight of their ten points. See that they wanted to get Davis involved. He likes when Davis is aggressive and shoots it because he's shooting over 70% from the field. Harper got a wide open look from the baseline. The Bulls are now two of nine from the floor, but only two. Pittman for three. Way off. Jordan recovers for his first basket. Bob, what you're seeing here, Tony Kukoc is staying up the floor. Tried to lay it off for Jackson, and the Pacers give it right back. Kukoc, touch pass to Harper. And on an 8-0 run, the Bulls have claimed their first lead. They come in right away and give the Bulls a big energy push. Miller. Reggie Miller ties it at 12. Did you hear the sigh in the United Center when that shot went in? It's, oh no, not Reggie. Very versatile player. There's his first touch. The, the Smiths for the hook. That, that's the inside game that Smith possesses, which makes it so difficult to guard him. Pippen to the left hand, swatted away by Antonio Davis. Here's Reggie Miller sprinting ahead. Has a great and quick recognition by Mark Jackson. No. Spinning is Jackson. Jalen Rose fires a three and hits it. Huge basket. That's Isaiah's key off the bench. He's had two big games in the playoffs, struggled in the other seven. They need him today. Nice pass to the cutting Miller for the reverse. Now Jordan likes to go over the top of the screen. He went over the top of the screen that time. Reggie Miller read it and back cut him, and that's why he got the layup. Eastern with Showtime, then game four of the Bulls and the Pacers. Kukoc, Rodman on the run, gets the bounce. Ferociously, Indiana's lead is only two. Eight first quarter turnovers really hurt them. Travis Best scores on the run. Wow. He's 0 for 2 in this game thus far. Smiths connects. Trim to 2. Antonio Davis obliterates Randy Brown with a screen. And Jalen Rose hits the jumper. Rose pulls it in for Indiana. Weaving his way out of the backcourt. Here's Travis Best. And Best puts it down to give Indiana a six-point lead. Indians, every time Chicago gets a turnover or a missed shot, Indiana has four guys back. Longley was wide open, and Pippen didn't miss it. Antonio. 
Kukoc with a big height advantage. Trying to post Mullen up. The fadeaway is good. Now you know. Gives it up to Kerr and gets it back. Five seconds to shoot. Longley, good pass to Harper. Great look by Longley. Ties the game at 30. To my big guy Smith, either through penetration or on the post-up. Antonio Davis, the other big guy. When he makes that shot, they're awfully tough because he's not known for that perimeter shot, although I think that aggressive, that's a little out of character. Jackson, bounce pass oh. to Davis. Now you see, Larry Bird made the substitution. Kerr was in the game. He brought Jackson right back in. Jackson immediately took Kerr to the post. Deanna's doing a good job of closing down Jordan's driving lanes and making him pass the ball. Oh. Antonio Davis now at the other end. Boy, Indiana's playing with great, great confidence. The Chicago turnover. The Bulls get back defensively. Jackson, they give him the jump. He says thank you and takes it. You know who's in Portland? Smits. Jackson gets it back. Fakes Winnington. Lays it in. I think credit has to be given to Indiana. Winnington hits, but that makes them 10 for 41 in this first half. And that may be one of the few open looks that they've had today. Last minute of the half, Pippen on the move. Robin follows in emphatic fashion. Samson misses the three. The Bulls have eight seconds. Two on one break. Robin from Pippen. Pacers hurrying. Jackson. That's it. The first half ends with Indiana in front by only three. Nothing to do with his poor shooting in the first half. Hard to tell. He's played great when feeling ill in the past. Harper. Well, they start the second half with a made basket. And they're within one. It's an 8-0 run dating back to the end of the first half. The Pacers had led 40-31. to Let's go to Ahmad again. Not just yet. Here's Michael with the steal. And Chicago. Hyman with Bill Russell. Bob? He gets the rebound and pitches it ahead to Pippen, who waits for Harper, who is fouled. Well, how quickly do things change right out of the blocks in this third quarter? Michael with Mullen on and shoots it off, and it rattles in and out. Longley is there. Offensive rebounding once again. Luke Longley right on the doorstep with the easy score. Ron Harper has 10 points in the game. Dennis Rodman has nine. Pippen for Jordan. Mullen at his mercy. Space, $1,000 donated by Miller to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. The three is there for Reggie Miller, and finally, the Bulls' run is halted. And, and Michael from Pippen spins baseline. Got it! After hitting 27% in the first half, the Bulls have made six of their first seven here, and the only miss was put back in. Mullen against Jordan. Pitches for Miller, catch and shoot. Got it. Just barely beat the shot clock. Stolen by Harper as he cuts in front of Miller. Finding Jackson, Michaels on Reggie, five seconds to shoot, stolen by Pippen. Three on all, let Michael do it. So if you look on Scotty Pippen's face and the way he's all over Mark Jackson, oh my. Chicago's defense suffocating the Pacers. Pippen saves it, but Jackson bats it to Davis. Then gets it back and lays it in. But holds on. Who coach on the run? So now you see the spacing of the Chicago Bulls. In the first half, they were bogged down. Everything was congested. That's when you have to batten down the hatches and hold on and stay in the game. Michael. Longley. Michael drew the defense to him, and Longley, an exceptionally good outside shooter for a 7'2 guy, was left alone. But doesn't hit. 
Michael to the hole. He doesn't do it as often, but he can still explode. Mullen, his first field goal, and he really had to work for it. He went out early with three fouls and has played only four minutes since. Shoots over Jordan and makes this a 64-59 game. Jalen Rose cuts it to three. Again, they didn't get out of their game plan. Scott Burrell puts an end to an 11-0 Indiana run, which had sliced a 14-point lead down to three. The leading scorer could help a club as much while scoring only four points as Pippen can. Travis Best. Well, it's 66-63. Three. Travis Best, tough off-balance shot, and the follow for Dale Davis. A one-point game. Travis Best's quickness has given this Indiana team a little spurt right now. Jordan into the lane. The Bulls by five. Seven and a half minutes to go. This is the 167th playoff game of Jordan's career. To the hole, reverse. In the playoffs. Michael with room. See, that's a four-point swing. Instead of bringing it down to a five-point game, it's pushed back out to nine. Here's his next shot. It's going in, and he's going to the line. Ten. Jackson into the lane. Finger roll good. These next two and a half minutes. Kukoc finds Jordan. Michael with the basket, but Kukoc made the play with a fine assist. Michael with 29. He hit the basket right in Reggie's face for obvious reasons. Smiths. Probably too little, too late. Mark Jackson to the hole, and that little floater with the high arc works for him again. Pacers got to take a foul here. They're down six. They should foul Harper, make him make a couple free throws. And don't wait for Michael to get it. Now Michael will pound it into the floor and dare them to foul him. Meanwhile, look at all the time going off the clock. Jordan. Longley pulls it in. That finishes the Pacers. Game one to Chicago. When we come back, Michael Jordan will visit with Ahmad Rashad. We'll also have Scottie Pippen. But for the moment, we step aside back to the United Center after this.